Terex is freed in Poe Dameron issue 24. On the Radis, Poe oversees his totaled X-Wing. Poe wonders if BV-8's astromech friend Ivy could help them rebuild it, but she is too busy with her new best friend Jessica, and not too happy Poe destroyed her previous repair job. Before they can start on the repairs themselves, General Organa tells Poe to suit up and assemble Black Squadron. Briefing the pilots, Leia says that Terex is still to exit hyperspace, but they have a tracker still on the ship, so they will find him once he exits into real space, and that's where Poe's squad comes into play, as they need to be on call for when he resurfaces. On the ship, Terex looks over Padme's old dresses, told they belonged to a great hero by Lorsa and Tekka. Terex says he's more concerned with Leia owning them as she is crafty and might have hidden something like a tracker inside the cargo. Moving them into the airlock, Terex jettisons the dresses into the cold vacuum of hyperspace, hoping that Leia discovers what has happened to them and it causes her some pain. Terex keeps shocking himself on the implants, much to the concern of Law, who wonders if the First Order really will remove the implants and welcome him back with open arms. Terex reminds the Force worshipper that that is not what he wants, since he never wanted to join the First Order in the first place, and he was just dreaming of the old days with the Empire when he did. Law tells him that dreaming is something old men like them are meant to do, and it gets worse the older they become. Terex says that he likes Law, and that it's a pity he must do what he must do to him. Leaving the Radis, Poe tells his team that they will all jump to Terex's location as soon as the beacon gives them a signal, despite not knowing what awaits them when they enter real space. Kaya meanwhile wonders if she should talk to her husband, but gets her droid to cut the comms. Snap calls her anyway, looking to talk about their recent split, saying that once they find Law, they will talk properly about their feelings. Arriving at the Absolution, Terex is met by Captain Phasma, who demands to know where Law is. Terex says that his implants need to be removed before he tells them where Law is. Stabbing himself with one of Malaris's leftover poisons, he says that if they don't remove the implants and save him, then they will never find the Force Worshipper. Phasma agrees to Terex's demands. Still in a holding pattern, Poe talks with Jessica about Ivy, but Jessica wants to talk about the ship's Terex stole, and how it only has enough hyperfuel and how there is a limit to how long it can be in hyperspace before it runs out. Jessica reveals that if the signal they are tracking doesn't pop up soon, it won't ever as the ship has either been destroyed or Terex figured out the tracker. There is still hope, however, that they could find the ship. With the implants removed, Terex demands a Stormtrooper armor be taken to his ship before staggering back to it, where he reveals that once he is safely away, he will reveal Law's position. With time running out, Poe gets his squad to return to the Radis as the signal does not appear. In the Radis, Leia is told about the signal and Terex finding it. Leia isn't happy that Terex got away, especially since their only hope is now gone. The General is alerted to a message from a known resistance vessel with the correct authorization codes, revealed to be Terex. Terex meanwhile modifies a trooper helmet while Poe contacts him, demanding to know where Law Santeca is. Terex says that the First Order are going for the man as well and that he tells Poe that he has learned to stop caring about the fate of the galaxy. Transmitting Law's coordinates, Terex tells Poe to hurry as the spacesuit wearing Law doesn't have much time left in deep space. Poe Dameron issue 24 up the stakes slightly and turn the search for Law Santeca into a race now as both sides of the war close in on the man. While the last few issues have been action orientated, this issue was more about the drama Terex is creating for Black Squadron, as well as a little bit of the drama he's creating for the First Order. Black Squadron's members are dealing with their own dramas as well, as Snap and Care are dealing with marital problems, and Jessica is dealing with having a new droid partner. I'm kinda hoping Terex sticks around now that Melaris has seemingly kinda been written out of the series. We she kind of like got arrested and we never really knew what happened to her, which is a shame because she was a really cool character. Terex was always an interesting character, but now that he's a man with nothing to lose, I'm interested to see how he will confront Poe. I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.